Hey peeps and how's it going? In this video, I'll showcase the best way in 2024 to download Citra 3DS emulator and turn on your HD textures for PC, Android, and Steam Deck. Note, for this video, I'll only be going off Citra emulator, such as Lime and Lemonade. If you're using something else and still having troubles, let me know in the comments. Now, first for PC. On PC, you can download a safe link for Citra fork from Pablo MKE7 on PC here. And it's as simple as downloading and open the file QT Citra. I also suggest you make a shortcut key or pin to Windows for this as well. Now, to enable your HT Texture Pack for Fantasy Life, the best location to do this is in this folder and by simply right clicking your Fantasy Life ROM and going Open Custom Textures Locations and placing your HT Textures in this folder. Now, if you're playing in a other language and you want to have Spanish textures or French textures, you need to go into the language file. And what you need to do is change the order of it. What I mean by this is you have, to, if you're playing in English, you have one on top. If you're playing in Spanish, you have two on top. So all you would have to do is just change the number orders to this. So if you're playing on a different language, just make sure you change the order. That is all. Next, you will need to make sure that your native resolution is above one times and you have custom textures turned on. You can do this by doing so. Emulator at the top of the screen, click on config, go graphics and use custom textures. Now just reset Citra and you should be good to go. If you're interested in playing Fantasy Life Online multiplayer, I have linked a video up here talking about how to do that and it's pretty simple. You can also do this on Steam Deck and Android, but you will have to direct connect to the public lobby. For Android, you'll need to download the Android version and place the Citra folder in whatever location you like. I went with base Android. There you have it. And simply remember where you install your Citra Android file. Now here you can change your screen layer by going back on the side panel, by going swap screens and choose which one's best suits you. You can also change over to landscape and choose from here. Usually I just prefer some sort of hybrid mode, which is pretty cool. Here you can also change your resolution and texture filter. And you make sure you turn custom textures on. Now for enabling custom textures, you first need to go and connect your phone to your computer. And you have to transfer them into your custom folder location. And here we are connected to our phone. Since we put Citra in Android, and then we'll go Citra, and you wanna go load textures, fantasy life file, and here we have it. So you wanna place your HT textures in here, and you should be good to go. Ah. Sorry, I don't have a Steam Deck, I have a Stream Deck. I just wanted to showcase a very simple way on how to get your Steam Deck set up. Links down in the description down below. On your Steam Deck, download Emu Deck. Once installed, go over and download Citra. It will download the Pablo MK7 version. There you go. That's pretty much all you do. I also suggest you make a shortcut key for changing screen layout. There may be an issue for MU Deck when you first open Steam ROM Manager though. Just make sure you confirm Citra is enabled. Now, for installing your HC textures on a Steam Deck, luckily it's exactly the same as how you do it on PC. You need to right click your ROM and go open custom textures locations. Now, just drop your HC textures into that file location. If that doesn't work, here is the other way. Note, you need to show hidden files to see VAR folder. Next, you just need to turn on your custom textures. 
and make sure you're above native resolution one. Again, it's by emulator at the top of the screen, config, graphic, and custom textures. And there you go. Thank you very much for downloading my HE texture pack. And if you found this video helpful, leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't already, as I cover all things fantasy life. Now go, let me know if you have any problems and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and goose out. Bye.